Let's do some yoga together. For this practice, you'll want two blocks, a blanket, and maybe a chair. To begin your practice, please come to a good seated position on your chair or on your mat. If you're finding your knees or up around your ears, please go ahead and sit on a block or up on a blanket. That helps you to open out your hips. Yeah, so your knees fall below your hips. Let's gravity do the work for you. Excellent. And maybe wiggle back and forth, allow yourself to settle in more fully. Excellent, maybe even move your hips forward and back. Good. Then when you're ready, please lean forward, lift your hips off the mat or off your block or off your chair. Send them way back behind you, settle it a little more fully with the front edge of your groins rooted into the earth a little more fully. Excellent. Fingertips to your hips or to the floor next to you, or even to the sides of your chair. Take your shoulders up to your ears, back towards the back of the room as they broaden. Let me release down. Good, now tone your belly. Lengthen just the tip of your tailbone. Grow along through the crown of your head. Excellent. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Maybe tilt your chin down. Begin to check in with how you're feeling with your body today. Just noticing what feels different from your last practice to this practice, or what feels different from maybe yesterday to today. Not judging, just noticing. Connecting with your breath. Maybe interlace your fingers, one finger in between the other. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling, thumbs facing the front of the room. Now, support your heart space with those lifted palms, shoulders up, back, and broaden. Take a couple deep breaths in as you begin to connect. Connecting not just the breath to the body, Put your mind to the mat, letting everything else that's going on around you go. Breathing in and out, noticing how you feel. Seeing if you can begin to Soften the spaces that feel tense, that feel hard throughout your body. Maybe the skin on your face. Maybe your jaw. Maybe the root of your tongue. Not losing that muscle energy that you're using to sit up straight. Finding a sense of steadiness, a sense of ease as you sit in Sukhasana or Siddhasana. Couple more deep breaths in and out, connecting to your breath. Open your eyes, release your hands. We're going to be doing a little bit of pranayama practice today, and we're going to use our motions to help us with the pranayama practice. So as you inhale in, you're going to bring your arms overhead, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, you're going to draw your arms down into a, a goal post position. Breathe. Inhale, draw the elbows back. Exhale, release the palms down. Let's repeat that a couple more times. Inhaling the arms overhead, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, draw those shoulders back, palms facing forward. Exhale, release the hands down. 
Going a few more times at your own pace. Inhaling the arms overhead, palms facing one another. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, release the palms down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now see if you can release the arms, but keep the inhaling and the exhaling. Take deep breaths in and out. Letting everything else go, the things that are swirling around outside you, not your concern now. Coming to that place that's your center. Your place of calm. When you're ready, inhale your hands together in front of your heart space, palms together. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, maybe set an intention based on the concept of centering, on the concept of finding that calm place in the center of your being, the eye of the hurricane. A couple more breaths in and out. Release those hands. Lift your chin, open your eyes, good. If you're sitting on blocks or on a chair, you can remove that block. Bring your chairs out, your feet out in front of you. Maybe wiggle your legs back and forth. I'm going to be mirroring you for practice today, and we're going to start with a foot massage. So cross that right leg over top of your left knee. Open it out. If you're sitting on a chair, totally fine. You can sit on the chair and do this. If you're up on blocks, you can... Continue to sit on the blocks, but you may be more comfortable moving off the blocks. Rub through the soles of your feet, especially the center of the soles of your feet. Pay attention to that center. Just pressing through the center and maybe rub your fingers from the center of your foot out, radiating to the sides. Good. There we go. Just opening out that foot. Excellent. Interlace your fingers in between the toes. Circle the ankle. Reverse the direction of the circle. Come on back to the center. Wiggle that foot back and forth. Find a neutral position of your foot. Spread the fingers, spread the toes. Keep those toes spread as you peel the hand away. Excellent. Take your hand to the top of the foot. Stretch it towards the back of the room. Then flex it. Other direction, up through the sole of the foot again, paying attention to the center, maybe rubbing from the center of the sole of the foot out to all sides. Twist and pull each toe. Grab a hold of the big toe mound, little toe mound, spread the, the top of the foot apart, give it a good wiggle. Excellent. Release that, clap the foot, and make a paddle, make a fist, tap the sole of the foot gently back and forth. Good. Grab a hold of the ankle. Shake it out. Let it go. There it is. <laughs> Grab a hold of the outer edge of the foot. Open up that hip. Beginning to notice your body. Release that foot down. Bring the top of the hip back into the top of the leg back into the hip socket. Switch sides. Good. Rubbing through the sole of the opposite foot. Maybe finding the center of the sole of the foot. And rubbing from the center of the foot all the way out, radiating through all sides. Excellent. Good. Interlace the fingers in between the toes if you can. And then begin to circle the ankle. First in one direction. Then the other. Breathing in and out. Come on back to the center with that foot. Spread the fingers, spread the toes, peel the hand away, keep those toes spread, excellent. Stretch the top of the foot and flex it going the other way. Then rub through the sole of the foot again, maybe stretching from the center of the foot 
center of the sole of the foot, radiating out through all sides, just like the sun. Good. Twist and pull each toe. Hands of the big toe mound, little toe mound, stretch the foot apart, give it a good wiggle. There we go. Release that, clap the foot, and give it a good paddle. Take a fist, gently tap the sole of the foot. Release that, grab a hold of the ankle, shake it out. Grab a hold of the outer edge of the foot, open up that hip. Release that, good. Femur comes back into the hip socket, good. Whichever way you had your legs crossed at the beginning of class, cross them your second favorite way this time, whichever way feels wrong. Yeah, there you go. Excellent, fingertips next to the hips. Press your fingers into the floor, lift your heart space. Good, tone your belly, lengthen your tailbone. Take a deep breath in. Walk your right fingertips out to the right. Bring your left arm overhead. Stretch it towards the top of the room, that place where the ceiling and the wall meet. Press that right hand into the floor so you're not collapsing. Inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale. Breathe, maybe open up that top shoulder. And let's do some movement with it. So you're going to inhale and close the shoulder down. Exhale, open it out. Just getting some mobility in those shoulders. Release that out, come on back to the center, switch sides. Find your center, excellent. Fingertips next to the hips, grow long. Wiggle those right, left fingertips out towards the left side, right arm comes overhead. Inhale, press the left fingertips into the mat, exhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Breathe in and out, letting the body open up on its own. And you begin to add up the breath, inhaling and closing the shoulder, exhaling and opening it. A couple times at your own pace. And when you're ready, come on back to the center. Fingertips next to you. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, walk those fingertips forward. Don't let those hips unroot. So root your hips down to the earth. Walk your fingertips farther forward. So you get a good stretch out of the spine. Breathing in and out. Walk your fingertips to the right, keeping that left hip rooted down. Let that left side open out. Come on back to the center. So you can walk those fingertips a little bit farther forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Fingertips to the opposite side of the mat again. A couple deep breaths in and out. Keeping your calm center, not letting those hips come become unrooted. Walking back to the center again. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, walk those fingertips a little bit farther forward. Breathing in and out. If you're on your chair, you can be seated and still walk those fingertips forward in the air. Totally fine. Or you can have your hands on your hips. Walk the heart space forward. Lift the torso. Come on back to the center. Lean back. Uncross your legs. Take a good windshield wiper. We're going to repeat that same thing on the other side. So this time you're going to cross your legs your other way. Whichever way you had them crossed last time, you're going to cross them your favorite way this time. Good. Come on back to the center. Fingertips next to the hips. Lift your collarbones, your heart space. Shoulders up, back, and broaden. Breathe. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. Right fingertips walk to the right. Left arm comes overhead. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, breathe, press that right hand into the floor. Now you begin your pranayama breath. 
So you inhale and you close the shoulder down. Exhale, open it up. Come on back to the center, switch sides. Left fingertips walk out to the left. You can bend that elbow if you'd like. Take the forearm down to a block or the ground, or you can keep it where it is. Making sure you have plenty of length out of that lower side body. As you grow longer, start adding up the breath. Inhaling and closing out the shoulder. Exhaling and opening it. Come on back to the center. Fingertips next to the hips. Shoulders up back and broaden. Bring your torso forward as you walk your fingertips forward. Stay on spider fingers. Feel like you're drawing those spider fingers back towards your heart space. Heart space draws towards the fingers. As you bring the torso closer to your mat or towards the front of the room, breathe in and out. Walk your fingertips to the right. Getting a stretch out of the left side. Keeping your calm center. Keeping that left hip rooted down. You can plant that right hand if you'd like. Take the left palm on top of the right hand. It's a deeper stretch. Or you can stay where you are. If you're on your chair, your fingertips are reaching wide or they're on top of your knee or your thigh. Excellent. Walk your fingertips back to the center. Inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen the spine and the collarbone. If you're lifting your chin super high, bring your chin in line with your spine. Back of the skull is back. Back of the neck is long. Hinge forward. Walk the fingertips to the left, the opposite side of the mat. A couple deep breaths in. You can plant that left palm. Right hand comes on top of the left palm for a deeper stretch. Right side body really stretching out. That right hip wants to come along. Keep it rooted. Couple more breaths. Come on back to the center. Lean that torso forward again. Good. Walk your fingertips back towards your hips. Lift your torso. Shoulders up back and broaden. Good. Inhale those arms overhead. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale the elbows back. Exhale, tops of the palms down. Two more times. Inhale the arms overhead, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale the elbows back. Exhale, release the tops of the hands to the floor. Last time. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, bring the heart space forward. Exhale, release the tops of the palms. Excellent. And so the tops of the thighs, come back to your center. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Just notice how you feel as we begin, we begin to warm up in class. When you're ready, open your eyes. Please come to a standing position on your mat. Excellent. You can have two blocks at the front of your mat. You can have a chair at the front of your mat if you'd like. Maybe turn the back of the chair so it's facing you. Excellent. There we go. Maybe have a mat nearby. Good. We're going to move through a sun salutation series, and then we'll move through a little bit of a different kind of flow. Follow me. I'll show you what we're doing. Coming to the front of your mat, inhale the arms overhead, exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, open those elbows back, exhale, arms wide. Inhale, lift your heart space, exhale, lean forward into Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up again. Exhale, fold. Now, just begin wiggling your knees back and forth. Just bend one knee and then the other knee. Your fingertips can be on the 
top of the chair. It can be on the blocks. They can be on your mat. If you're rounding your upper spine, see if you can come up a little bit higher so that upper spine stays straight. Good. Letting those legs open up, the hips open up. Inhale, lengthen, 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 halfway up. Exhale, fold. Breathe. Plant your hands. Step your right leg back into a right leg lunge. That back heel is lifted. The front knee is in line with the ankle. It's not popped forward of the ankle. Just breathe in and out here. Your hands can be on blocks. You're rounding your upper spine. It can be on the tops of the chair. Breathe. Just let that front leg open out. Just starting to open up. Inhale, lift the torso. Exhale, stretch back through that back leg. The knee is straight on the back foot. Good. Now, inhale the arms overhead, straighten the knee. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, elbows back. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, palms down. You come back to your lunge. I'm going to repeat that a few more times. Really reach through that back leg. Lift the torso, find your calm, find your center. Inhale the arms overhead, straighten that front knee. Exhale, bend the knee, elbows to the side. Inhale, open the elbows, heart space lifts, tone the belly. Exhale, palms come down, torso hinges forward. One more time. Inhale, lift the torso, find your lunge first. Good. Reach through that back leg. Now we add up the arms and the breath. Inhale, arms overhead, front knee straightens. Exhale, bend the elbows, coming into your lunge. Inhale, open the elbows out, tone the belly. Look up towards the sky, mini back bend. Exhale, release the hands, come forward. Excellent. Remove the blocks, plant your hands on the mat, step that front leg back to meet the back leg into downward facing dog. Pedal your dog, walk it back and forth. Pedal your feet back and forth. If you're rounding your spine, so you can make a little bit of space between your hands and your feet, bend your knees, send your hips back towards the back of the room, tone the belly, lengthen the tailbone. You begin to walk your dog back and forth. You're doing a great job. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Plant those heels. Hands to the hip creases, shoulders up back and broaden. Lift from the heart space as you come to the front of the mat. Arms reach overhead. You walk to the front of the mat. Find your Tadasana Mountain Pose. Sweep your arms beside you. Shoulders up back and broaden. Let's repeat the same thing on the other side. Breathing in and out. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, open the heart space. Exhale, reach those hands wide, hinge forward. If your chair's in the way, you can move that chair forward. Inhale, three pranams. Halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up again, long spine. Exhale, fold. Last time. Inhale, long spine, exhale, fold, pause. It's your forward bend. You can bend your knees back and forth, just noticing. Then plant your hands. Step your left leg back, right leg back into downward facing dog. Good. This time, that right leg comes forward in between the hands. Find your lunge first. Reach through that back leg. The back heel is lifted. Both knees are facing forward. Your front knee is in line with your ankle. Breathe in and out. Fingertips can be on your blocks. They can be on your chair. What gives you the most space? When you're ready, lift your torso. Find your lunge. Bring your arms out to the side. And we start adding up the breathing and the movement. 
Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend the knee. Inhale, elbows back. You lift the heart space. Exhale, release the arms. Come on forward. Breathe. Tone the belly, lengthen the tailbone, take the slack out of that back leg. Lift the torso. Prolong through the back leg. Let's add up the breathing. Inhale, arms overhead, knees straighten, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bend the knee, bend the elbows. Inhale, elbows to the back of the room. Heart space reaches towards the sky. Exhale, release the arms down, torso comes forward. Find your breathing. Find your calm. Find your center. We're going to do that one more time. Hands to the top of the thigh, lift the torso. Going at your own pace. Finding your lunge pose. Reach those arms wide, shoulders up, back, and broaden. Add up the breath. Inhale, arms reach to the sky. Front leg straightens. Exhale, bend the knee, bend the, the elbows. Make sure that knee is not projecting over top of the front ankle. Inhale, elbows back, collarbones lifted. Exhale, release the hands down, release the torso forward. Release those blocks, step on back to downward facing dog. Then bend the knees, untuck the toes, big toes together, spread your knees farther apart. Send your hips back towards your heels. Take a rest in child's pose. Find your center. Bring your mind back to the mat. Noticing how you feel. Noticing the increased heart rate, maybe the increased breathing. A couple more deep breaths in and out. Good. Please come to all fours. You can put a blanket out for your knees. Exhale. Sorry, excellent, not exhale. Fingertips forward. Walk your hands and palms forward a little bit, knees back. Walk your hands wide and melt your heart space. Tone your belly so you have a strong center. Breathe in and out. We're going to be doing some core strengthening. So I'd like you to breathe in and out. When you're ready, take the toes of the right leg and send them back towards the back of the room. Good. Keep that. Slide the toes of the left leg back so you're in. Plank pose, the top of a push-up if you're rounding. Melt your heart space. Tone your belly. Reach through those heels. Now I'd like you to shift back and forth. So your toes or your heels are shifting forward and back. Then come to your center. Calm. Hips are lifted. Good. Breathe in and out. Now bend your knees, go back to your table position, untuck your toes, take a child's pose again, stack your forearms your second favorite way, just take a rest. Now, while you're in child's pose, just listen to the sound of my voice. Allow yourself to remain calm. Allow yourself to come back to the center. We're going to do that plank pose again. We're going to add up a little bit of a cat back. So we're going to round the upper spine a little bit in the cat pose. And then we're going to be moving our legs in plank pose. So if you have a moment, please sit up. You don't need to do anything right now. I'd like you to watch what I'm doing. And then we'll do it together. Excellent. So we'll start in table position. 
We'll slide the right toes back, left toes back. We'll wiggle back and forth. Then we're going to round our spine. Yes. We're going to lift the right knee off the mat. Inhale, bring it towards the right elbow. Exhale, set the foot down. Inhale, lift it again. Take it towards the center of the chest, cat back. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift it again. Take it towards the opposite elbow. Exhale, place it down. Inhale towards opposite elbow, but shoot that foot forward. You're on the outer edge of that front foot. Open the heart space. Open that left arm towards the ceiling for fallen triangle. Good. Come on back to the center. Take that foot back to plank pose. Release it down. And then we'll do the other side. Breathe. Relax. You got this. Please come to your table position. If you're standing and you're using your chair, you can do the same thing with the chair. You're simply moving your knees towards the outer elbow, the inner chest, and a crisscross and stepping forward. Breathe in and out. Melt your heart space, tone your belly, lengthen the tip of your tailbone. Here we go. Right foot back. Left foot back, find your plank pose. Wiggle back and forth. Tone your belly, lengthen your tailbone. Come to a stable position. Steadiness and ease. Widen those left toes, lift the right knee. Inhale, bring it towards the right elbow. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, lift the right knee towards your chest. Exhale, set it down. You can... Have a cat back if you'd like. Inhale, lift that right knee towards the left elbow. Exhale, set it down. This time we move into fallen triangle. A little bit of a cat back. Inhale, lift that right knee towards the left elbow. Shoot the foot forward. Put energy in the outer edge of that right foot. As you open up the heart space, fallen triangle. Take that right chest wall towards the front of the room, opening up, release the hand, release the foot, come on back to center, bend the knees. Take a child's pose. Coming back to calm, coming back to center. We're gonna do the other side. I'm going to turn around so you can see me on the other side. Remember, I am mirroring you. I just want you to be able to see me. You don't have to turn around. I just want you to see what I'm doing. Please come to all fours, your table position. Shoulder blades together. Back of the skull is back. Back of the neck is long. Slide your left leg back, right leg back. Find your plank pose. Wiggle your toes and your heels back and forth. Put the weight into your right foot. Light on the left foot. Inhale, left knee to left elbow. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, knee towards the center of the chest. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, left knee to the right elbow. Exhale, set it down. Cat back if you need to. Inhale. Left knee to right elbow, shoot the foot forward. You're on the outer edge of that foot. Plant that left hand, right hand to the hip crease, shoulder up and back. Lift that left chest wall. Take the right arm towards the ceiling, palm facing high. Fall in triangle. Exhale, come on back to center. Release everything down. Take a rest. You've earned it. Child's pose. When you're ready, 
Please come to a kneeling position on your mat. Have your chair, your blocks in front of you. Fingers to the hip creases, hands to the hip creases, shoulders up, back, and broaden. Can you bring that right foot in between the blocks? Good. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, scoop and lunge. Hinge forward. Fingertips to the block or the chair. Can you lift that back knee off the mat? Excellent. Good. Inhale, straighten that front knee. Exhale, bend it. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, taking a pyramid position, inhaling and exhaling, feeling your legs like taffy, pulling back towards the back of the room as you straighten and bend that front knee. This next time you get that front foot straight and keep it straight, reach through that back leg, make plenty of room, inhale, pretend like you're drawing your mat or your blocks or your chair back towards your hips as your heart space reaches forward. Keep the left hand planted on the block, right hand to your hip crease. Good. Take a twist, opening that left chest wall towards the right side of the mat. That palm comes overhead for a revolved triangle, similar to what we just did, yes? Cool. Take a deep breath in and out. Keep that lower shoulder blade engaged. Come on back to the center, bend the knee. Release that back foot down, switch sides. Front leg goes back, back leg comes forward. This time, wiggle the toes of that back leg back a little bit farther. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, scoop and lunge. Fingertips to the chair, to the blocks, to the mat. See if you can find all five toes in contact with the mat. That back heel is lifted. Good. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, scoop and lunge. Don't drop the head. Head's in line with the spine. Lift that back knee off the mat. Reach through that back heel. Good. Square your hips off. Squeeze everything towards the center, towards the midline. Activate your right hand on the mat, the block, or the chair. Left hand comes to your hip crease. Keep pressing into that right hand as you take the right chest wall towards the left side of the room. Good. Now, you can bring that left hand up towards the ceiling. Straighten the front knee. Revolve triangle, other side. Close your triangle out. Bend the knee. This time I'd like you to Inhale and exhale, straightening that front knee and bending it. So you get a little bit of the piston action in this pyramid pose. Try not to rock back and forth. See if as you straighten the front knee and bend it, you can go a little bit deeper, like you're pulling taffy and pressing your feet away from one another. Because you don't want to accidentally go into a split. Bending and straightening that knee. When you're ready, remove the blocks of the chair. Plant your hands on the mat. Please step back into downward facing dog. You can remove that blanket. Excellent. Breathe in and out. Find your dog. Shift your weight into your left leg. Take the right leg parallel to the floor. Reach it back towards the back of the room. Foot is flexed. Knees facing down. Toes facing down for three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale. Come into plank pose. Knee towards the right elbow. Exhale. Come back to three-legged dog pose. Inhale. Knee in towards the chest. Exhale. Back to three-legged dog. Inhale, knee towards the opposite side. Exhale to downward facing dog. You know what's coming, yes. Inhale, knee to the opposite elbow. Shoot it forward. Open up into your fallen triangle. Close it back down. Come on back to your three-legged dog. Release the foot down. Bend your knees. Come into child's pose. Breathe in and out. Releasing your jaw. Mm. 
releasing the skin on your face. Using your breath to allow yourself to come back to a calm center. When you're ready, please come to a standing position on your mat. Walk to the front of your mat. We're going to do the other side. Inhale into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Arms, shoulder blades engaged. Palms facing forward, arms are down. Inhale, the arms overhead, exhale, hinge forward at the hip creases. Uttanasana, standing forward, bend, three pranams. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last time. Plant the hands, step back into downward facing dog. Find your dog. Weight goes into your right foot. The left foot comes off the mat. It reaches towards the back of the room. It's parallel to the floor. Knees facing down, toes facing down. Breathe in and out. Inhale, come forward. That left knee comes to the left elbow. Exhale, come back to three-legged dog. Inhale, knee in towards the chest. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, knee to the opposite elbow. Exhale to downward facing dog. Find the dog. Inhale, knee to the opposite elbow. Shoot that foot forward. Open your arm. Open your hips for fallen triangle. Back of the head is, skull is back. Back of the neck is long. Come on back to center. Come back to your three-legged downward facing dog. Bring that left foot down. Bend the knees. A child's pose. Whew. Coming back to your calm center. When you're ready. Please come to a seated position on your mat. Your legs are forward, so you're sitting in staff pose, dandasana. Opening your sitting bones, taking your inner thighs, internally rotating them in and down. Your knees face the ceiling. Your toes face the ceiling. Good. Back to your thighs are in contact with the mat. You can sit up on a block or a blanket if you need to. Fingertips next to your hips. Press them into the earth. As you open your heart space, tone your belly. Breathe in and out. Now, can you inhale the arms overhead? Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, palm the tops of the palms to the floor as you hinge forward. You can round the spine. Roll on back to the center. Fingertips to the mat. Open your heart space, tone your belly. Can you release those fingertips wide? Inhale, the arms come up towards the ceiling, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, elbows back, mini back bend. Back of the neck is long, back of the skull is back. Exhale, hinge forward. Just relax. Let it go. Take a couple breaths in and out. Let your spine round. We're going to do that two more times. Coming all the way back to the center. Finding your Dandasana. Good. Inhaling arms overhead. Exhale, go post arms. Inhale, the elbows back. Exhale, hinge forward. Let it go. Come on back to the center. Dandasana staff pose. Inhale, the arms overhead. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale, the elbows back. Tone the belly, lengthen the tailbone. Exhale, hinge forward. Just let it go. Take a couple deep breaths in and out here. Let everything go. 
You can even bend your knees a little bit. Dorsiflex your feet. You can send the big toe mounds of your feet towards the front of the room. Let your knees bend. Just let everything go. A couple deep breaths in and out. Finding that center. Let's come back to Dandasana Staff Pose. Walk your fingertips behind you. Turn your fingers towards the back of the room. Externally rotate those upper arms and let your collarbones lift. Now tone your belly, lengthen your tailbone, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the floor. Good. We're going to move into boat pose, Navasana. So to move into this pose, take your hands to the fronts of the knees. Keep those shoulders externally rotated, heart spaces lifted. Inhale, lean back. Come up on your toes. Excellent. You can take your fingers behind your knees. Inhale, lift first one foot, then the other. Exhale, come on forward, round the back. Fingertips behind you again for sunbather pose. Good. Open up. Hands to the fronts of your knees, lift that heart space, tone your belly, lean on back. Come to your toes, lift the heels off the mat. Fingertips behind the knees, good. Inhale, lift the opposite foot, the other foot next to it. Boat pose. You can stay here, or you can release one hand, then the other hand, you can release both hands. Come on back to the center. Release everything forward, let it go. We're gonna do that one more time, adding up. Yogi's choice. You can do any version of this pose that suits you. Knowing you're working on a strong core, a strong center. Fingertips behind you as you come into sunbather pose. Excellent, keep those collarbones lifted. Our heart space lifted, hands to the fronts of your knees. Lean on back. Toes are in contact with the earth. Heels lifted. Fingertips behind the crease of the knees. Lift that collarbone again, tone the belly. Lift one leg, then the other. Release one arm, then the other. Straighten one knee, then the other. Bend the knees. Come on back to center. Let everything go. Boat pose. When you're ready, please slide your feet forward into Tandasana staff pose. Don't worry, we're not going to do boat pose again. We're finished with that. Coming back to your staff pose. Like to do a twist, Machiandrasana. So bend your right knee, cross it over that left leg, dorsiflex that left foot. Make sure the toes are pointing towards the ceiling, the knee is pointing towards the ceiling. Take your left hand around the right knee, right fingertips press into the earth as you grow long through the spine. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. You can stay here or you can bend that front knee, take it towards the front hip, but notice that hip wants to pop up. So bring that hip in line with the earth. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Or you can stay in the other position. You can inhale that left arm forward. Take the left elbow to the inside of the outside of that right knee. Good. For the more classic version of the pose, what serves you? Twisting your center, but remaining calm in the center. Unfurl the pose. Both legs in front of you on the mat. Just wiggle the feet back and forth. And just let it go. We have one more side to go, and you're doing such a great job. Coming into staff pose. Opening out, finding staff pose. 
You can stay here if you'd like. You can even do a twist in staff pose. Still Machi Andrasana. Good. If you'd like, you're going to bend the left knee, cross it around the right ankle, the uh, top of the right knee. Yes, good. Sole of the left foot is on the floor. Inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, right hand comes to the outside of that left leg. Maybe the right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. Breathe in and out for the twist. You can stay here or you can bend that right foot, right knee. Take the foot towards the hip. But make sure you root both hips down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. You can bend that right elbow if you'd like, or you can keep it forward. Couple more breaths. As you compress your center, knowing that you can still remain calm in the center. And when you're ready, unfurl the pose. Excellent, both feet in front of you. Knees are bent, soles of the feet are on the floor. Just put your legs back and forth, knees back and forth for windshield wipe pose. Then when you're ready, please lay down on your mat. Knees are bent, soles of the feet are on the floor. Shimmy your shoulders under your heart space. Let's take a couple of bridge poses. If you have a block, Sorry, I should have told you that before. Have a block nearby. We're going to do two bridge poses, then a supported bridge pose. So take your shins, make them parallel to the floor. They're not drawn back towards your hips. They're parallel to the floor. Give me your shoulders under your heart space. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, release them. One more time, inhale, lift the hips. Open up your collarbones, your heart space. Exhale, release it. This time as you inhale and lift your hips, grab a hold of that block. Slide it under your sacrum. It's on your second favorite height. Release that sacrum down on top of the block. And just rest here for a few moments, breathing in and out. You can stay here, or you can bend your right knee and bring it in towards your chest, and your left knee in towards your chest. Take both feet towards the ceiling. Good, just breathing in and out. Supported shoulder stand. Very calming pose. Two more breaths in and out. And bend one knee and the other knee if your feet are up in the air. Release them down on the ground. Press your feet into the earth. Lift the hips. Release that block. Release the hips down. Slide your legs forward. Good. We're going to give ourselves two big hugs. So knees just in chin in. Give yourself a big hug. Release that out. Hug yourself again, knees, chest, and chin in. Release that out. Last time, take a big hug in. Release that out. If you'd like to move through Happy Baby or through a supine twist, you can do that. If you need a mini flow, you can do that. Notice what feels good for your body today. But if you're ready for Shavasana, please allow yourself to get ready for Shavasana. You can have your legs forward, or if you'd like, for a more calming version of Shavasana, you can turn your chair around. You can slide your hips towards the seat of your chair. Take your legs on top of the chair so your calves are resting on the chair. Make sure your knees are above your hips so you slide yourself forward. Shimmy your shoulders under your heart space. Good. 
And when you're ready, turn your palms up towards the ceiling, close your eyes or soften your gaze. And enjoy the depth of your Shavasana. From the center of your being. Breathe in and out. Allowing the breath to radiate from the center of the belly all the way out. The legs, shins, the soles of the feet, expanding the chest, the ribs, the heart space. That breath work up under the collarbones and reach out through the upper arms, the forearms center of the palms of your hands, your fingers. Now let that breath reach out through the neck, the crown of the head. Radiating full and deep from the center of your being out through all sides of your body, just breathing in and out. Come back to your normal free flowing breath. That love warmth, let the warmth of that radiation, the warmth of that breathing pulsate from the center of your body out through all your limbs. Please draw your attention to the center of your forehead. See if you can soften in the center of your forehead, even as the warmth of that radiation from breathing continues to flow. You may stay in Shavasana as long as you wish, but when you're ready, please bend your knees and roll over to the side, being mindful if you're on a chair, that you are on the chair. Be very careful to roll to your side, just remain on your side for a few moments. In child's pose, sorry, in fetal position. Looking into the center of your being with your mind's eye. Noticing that sense of calm that you feel. Knowing that you can find that sense of calm anytime you're ready if you just practice. Practice what it feels like to be still. Calm in your center so that when you're stressed, things are swirling around you, you're able to use that muscle memory to use your breathing and the things that make you feel calm, feel centered, even in the midst of stress and strife without disturbing your center of calm that sense of ease draw your knees closer to your heart space 
Continue rolling to your side. Use the strength of your hands to come back to a seated position. Sit well. Cross your legs in any way that serves you. You can sit on a chair. You can sit on blocks. You can sit on a blanket. Your shoulders up towards your ears, back towards the back of the room and broaden them. Tone your belly, lengthen your tailbone, grow along through the crown of the head. Tilt your chin. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Interlace your fingers your second favorite way. Turn the palms up, thumbs facing forward. Like you're supporting your heart space. Just notice the sense of calmness that you feel. Draw your attention back to your intention for class today. You set an intention. And recommit to that intention as you step off your mat. Bring your palms together in front of your heart space. The invitation today as, you, today as you take your yoga practice off your mat and out into the world is find space every day for the next week to notice the things that make you feel calm. Maybe it's breathing, maybe it's music, maybe it's quietness. Just notice. Maybe at the end of the week, write those things down. And the next time you're feeling stressed and the next time you feel things swirling around you, see if you can pull out that piece of paper and begin to practice those things. Or better yet, practice them every day when you're not feeling stressed. So that when you do feel stressed, they become natural for you. And you just go to them in your mind's eye without thinking about it. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale that. One more time. Inhale in. Exhale that. Inhale the corners of your mouth, the sky, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for your beautiful practice. Thank you for coming to your mat today. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.